Now we're going to convert a decimal to a fraction. Let's start off with a decimal of 0.5. Now, we've only got one number after the decimal place, and that position there is the tenths. And we have five of them, so this is five tenths. Let's look at 0.13. We have the number 1 in the tenths place, so we know we have 1 tenth. And we have the number 3 in the hundredths place. So we've got the number 1 in the tenths and a 3 in the hundredths. Now we want our fraction to just be one thing, not two or more things. So we need to physically add these together. To add fractions, you have to have the same number on the bottom. Okay. So what I can do is I can turn this into hundredths. That way we'll have a hundred on both bottoms. So I'm going to have something over a hundred plus our three hundredths here. Now, to get from 10 to 100, I times by 10. So because I did that to the bottom, I also have to do it to the top. So I have 1 times 10, which gives me 10. So I have 10 hundredths plus 3 hundredths, which gives me 13 hundredths. Now, you may have spotted a quicker way to do this. You see that we have the number 13 here and we also have it here. The quick method is to take a look at the last number in use and decide which fraction it's sitting in. Is it sitting in the tenths, the hundredths, the thousandths, etc. This was in the hundredths and so it is 100 underneath. Let's take one more example. If we go for 0 0.274 now, we have tenths, hundredths, and thousandths. So, we're going to have something over 1,000. And we have the numbers 2, 7, 4. So there we go, 0 0.274 is the same as 274 thousandths. Okay, now what happens if there is a zero somewhere in the middle of your numbers? For instance, this zero here. We have 0 0.504. Okay, our last digit being used is in the hundredths, so it's going to be something. The thousandths, sorry. Tenths, hundred thousandths, so thousandths is on the bottom, and we've got 504. So we continue with 504. Having a zero in the middle makes no difference whatsoever to you. Okay, that was decimals to fractions. Now let's take fractions to decimals. And here your calculator will be very helpful. Suppose we have the fraction 1 half. That is the same as saying 1 divided by 2. If you put that into your calculator and press the equals symbol, it will automatically give you 0.5. Suppose we had 3 over 4, 3 quarters. That's saying 3 divided by 4. And if you put that into your calculator, it will automatically give you 0.75. Thank you.